So I'm Brad Levitt, president of AUT Construction. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel. And one really important topic that we wanted to address was that communication with the client. Don't assume, right? This is really key when you think about don't assume. And this goes back to an experience that we had with our company very early on, right? We're with a client and we're in these amazing brownstones in downtown Phoenix. We have these brownstones called the Chateau and Central. They've since been renamed the Eris. And these brownstones are incredible uh, brick structures, all hand laid brick, like you'd see in Boston or San Francisco, New York, uh, that'll be here for a long time. Uh, and they're a little complex because as you come in and you're building the interior, because the shells were completed, now it's time to build an interior for your client. Well, we were standing on the fourth floor, and here on the fourth floor has this amazing view of downtown Phoenix, except that view is obstructed, right? Because it's all brick. And so we're standing there with our client, and we're already in construction, keep in mind. So we're already, design's done, architecture's done, permit, we're building, we're working through finishes. And as we're standing there with our client doing the field walk, you know, they had the epiphany or inspiration to say, hey Brad, we want to take out this wall and add a large fixed window. Um, and at the time, my superintendent who was there right away said, well, you don't want to do that. It's going to be super expensive. It's a lot of work, right? We're going to have to get a steel lintel, cut the masonry, get the big repair, put in the, you know, the fixed window and just going through all the expense and costs. And the client looked at him and said, don't tell me how to spend my money, right? And really what it comes down to in all my experience working with clients and customers, as you think about don't assume, our job in communicating as a general contract, and this is really key, is how do we sensitively understand what they're asking, reiterate that, and put it in a way where they can make that decision. And so a better way that could have been handled, right, is to sit there with the client and say, I love what you want to do here. To showcase downtown Phoenix, that's great. So we really have two options, maybe three. So option A, right, we leave it as is. Option two, Here's what it would be, right? We, here's the complexity. We would get a steel lintel. We would demo this. We'd open it up. We'd have some repairs of brick. We'd put in, you know, the window, flashing, waterproofing, everything that goes into this. You know, this is probably going to be a four-week four deal, a six-week deal. There's some ordering. Maybe now it's a little bit longer because of COVID. But we kind of give them a time frame saying we have that option. We can do that. It's going to take this amount of manpower, this amount of trays, this amount of cost. Here's a budget. We can hard price that. What would you like to do? And then the client can sit there and say, okay, is it worth to delay the project or move the project out six weeks to add these costs? Maybe it's $50,000. And the client may say, you know what? To have this view of downtown Phoenix where this is my forever home, yeah, it's worth $50,000 to do that change. So by presenting the information so that they understand X, Y, Z, that allows us now to meet what they're asking for and also serve them. And then yes, if they want to move forward with that option, absolutely, we can do that. Here's the cause and effect, here's the timeline, here's the cost, present that, have them sign off and move forward accordingly.